Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD14-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with four remote locations at the same time, up to 230 feet away, over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames per second, and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it'll work fine with all of your modern media gear. The transmitter provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're sharing it with all four of the remote locations, and the system uses the latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply at the transmitter end is all you'll need to operate the entire solution. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll list the features and functions that this product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module and four individual remote receiver modules. You'll find a single 12 volt, 2.5 amp DC power supply. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection with a locking collar that plugs directly into the back of the transmitter and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll find four mounting kits for the remote receivers that allow you to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way, and a bracketing kit for the transmitter to do the same. You'll also find a full instruction manual included that has connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The kit includes a single transmitter and four remote receivers, and each of these feature full metal enclosures which make them really durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. Let's start with the transmitter first. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find these ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power switch. That can be used to turn the module on and off by flipping the switch. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to this module and turn it on, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is a bank of EDID switches, and these can be used to adjust the frame rate, resolution, and audio style for the input media versus the output displays, and that's fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a USB-C port mark service, and that's for updating the firmware on the transmitter if needed later on. And to do that, you'll simply connect this to a computer and move that firmware file over to the module to complete the upgrade. On the rear of the module is where you'll make all your connections. Starting on the left, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port labeled in. This connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your four remote locations. To the right of that is a loopout port. That's another HDMI port. The transmitter provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're distributing it to your four remote locations. And to take advantage of that feature, you can connect another HDMI cable from this port to a local monitor to enjoy that content. To the right of that are four full-size LAN ports labeled CAT out one, two, three, and four. And this is where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable connects between the transmitter and the remote receiver. Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, which plugs in right there, and you can finger tighten the collar to make sure it doesn't pop out. And that's the only power supply you'll need for the entire solution. The receivers, again, full metal enclosure. On either side, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the bracketing kit for the receivers to mount these up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end, you'll find another LAN port. That's where the other end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the transmitter plugs in. And on the other side, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port, and this connects to a local monitor that you'd like to use at that remote location to enjoy the content from the primary side. 
And then finally, there's a power indicator right here. Now, the receivers don't require an individual power supply because of the power over cable technology. Once you plug the transmitter in, all the power required for this receiver is sent over that same LAN connection. And once that power arrives here, the receivers go through a power on self test. And once they pass that test, this light will come on, letting you know the receiver's ready to use. And that's pretty much it for the modules. The O-Ray UHD14-EX230-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media devices, including digital projectors, game consoles, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content up to 60 frames per second. It's a splitter and an extender combined into a single product. It's both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 230 feet of extension for the content between the primary and secondary locations and offers local loopback functionality as well as POC technology. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor and that's the media content I'd like to share with my four remote locations. Over here, I've set up four displays, and each one of these represents a different remote location. It's where I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary site. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and four remote receiver modules here. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media player from the monitor and plugging that cable directly into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection with a locking collar, which plugs directly into the DC input port on the back of the transmitter. And I'll finger tighten that collar so it doesn't pop out. And now we can connect the remote receivers up to the monitors at each of those remote locations. I've already connected four high performance HDMI cables up to the monitors. And these plug into the HDMI output port on each of the four receivers. And it's really important that you use a high quality cable to make these connections because this solution supports 4K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames per second. So using a high quality cable means that you'll get the best possible image on these output monitors. Okay, the only thing we're missing at this point is the LAN connection between the transmitter and each one of the remote receiver modules. And that has to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable. I have four CAT6 cables right here. And these can be up to 230 feet apart. So I'll plug this into each one of the receivers, and then I'll plug the other end of it into the transmitter module. And once I've made these connections, I can turn the solution on. Now, this system uses a very unique power over cable technology, and you'll notice there are no power supplies at the remote location. And that's because that power over cable technology sends the power required for these modules over that same LAN connection in addition to the media content it's distributing. So I'll turn on the transmitter, and the minute I do, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics. It's also checking the resolution of the media content. It's sending power to each one of the remote receivers. They're going through a power on self-test, and they're checking the output resolution of these monitors and making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. And there you go. So what you're viewing here is content that started out as an HDMI signal, it was converted into a signal that could be sent across that LAN connection, and then converted back into an HDMI signal for display in these monitors. And again, 230 feet between the primary site and each one of the remote locations. Now, one other really nice feature about this product is the local loopback functionality, which allows me to continue to enjoy the content at the primary side while I'm simultaneously sharing it with each of the four remote locations. And to take advantage of that feature, you'll need one more HDMI cable, and you'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the back of the transmitter and the other end of it into a local monitor. And it'll take a second to make the adjustment. And you'll see the same content displayed here that's being shared with those four remote locations. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD14-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit helpful. This product was engineered to make it really easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with four remote locations at the same time over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. 
The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames per second and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's completely compatible with all of your modern media gear. The product also features local loopback functionality at the primary side, so you can continue to enjoy the content while you're sharing it with your remote locations, and it employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution, because the power required for the remote receivers is sent over that same LAN connection. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.